Alright guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. Never know what to say. Do I call it a tutorial or video? Who knows? But welcome back and in this video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to make a user interface entirely in Java. Now if you didn't watch my last video I gave a quick explanation right at the end, but basically whenever you use that designer it's really good for making static or just user interfaces that don't change a lot but whenever you have something like a game or any interface where things are moving around it's useful to create your objects in Java so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so close out of any project you have hit file close and then you can start a new one I'm just gonna name this like uh... let's name it Allison because I have a crush on this girl named Allison let me center this and all of this stuff looks good you can actually name it anything you want and of course we're making it for the phone and choose blank activity right here and hit next now this is our right so pretty much just uh, give it a name and keep all the defaults now once everything is done setting up what you can do is you can actually hop right over to your Java file and actually we aren't going to be using this XML file at all so again like I said let me expand this a little bit so the first thing that your app is essentially going to do is it's going to look at this class right here and it's going to say okay what layout do you want to use and right now in this line right here the content view pretty much tells your app this is the layout this is the user interface and right now it's pointing to activity main which is this we know all that already so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and delete that and I actually want to show my line numbers so it's on line 14 so delete that so now we have this class but it has no interface whatsoever the user has nothing to look at so actually I do want to hop over in this XML file because even though we aren't going to be using it I do want to show you guys how we need to set up our interface so this is our main device we can't really do anything with the screen now alright let me adjust myself cuz get ready to explain alright so the very first thing we need for user interface is a layout now a layout is just your general rules telling how everything how all of your widgets are supposed to be positioned and aligned and everything now once we have a layout we can start adding widgets to it alright so first let's go ahead and make a layout and then add some widgets to it now in order to actually use these classes we need to import something so import Android dot widget is the first one and again the first thing is relative layout and there are different types of layouts for example we're going to be using relative that's what we're used to working with so far but they also have um, table layouts grid layouts again um, relative layout is kind of hard to understand at first because whenever you're laying out your widgets they're all going to be positioned relative to something else so for example the first example we'll do we'll say make a button and position it relative to the middle of your screen so it's kinda of hard to explain it's a lot easier to visualize a table or a grid but once you start coding um, you'll see what relative really means pretty much position whatever you have relative to something else so the next thing we need to do is import android.widget.button so again in this really simple example I'm just gonna have a layout and then I'm gonna put a button in the middle of the screen so now that you have both of those imported let me tighten this up so you guys can see it a bit what we want to do is we want to stick all of the code to create the layout inside the on create method so remember that code that we deleted was right in here and remember whenever your activity first gets called first gets created this is the very first thing it does so it's always a good idea to make your layout inside this method so hop right under this statement right here and actually let me give myself some space now the first thing I want to do is just make a relative layout object so relative layout that's what we just imported and I'm just gonna name my layout you can name anything you want I'm just gonna name mine Bucky's 
Uh, yeah, I think that's a good name. Bucky's layout. That'll be easy to remember. And what you do is you set this equal to new relative layout. This. So now we have a layout. Essentially, what we did is we created this right here. But now it has a cool name, and we can do some cool stuff to it. So after this, I'm going to create a widget, and I'm just going to create a button. So button, I'll, uh, I'll make this a red button. So red button. Again, you can name yours anything you want. And new. New button this. So now we have a layout and a button, but that's it. We created them and they're in memory, but we didn't do anything to it. We didn't even tell it to actually display these things on the screen yet. So the first thing that we want to do is we actually want to add a widget or pretty much add this button to the layout. Because right now, like I said, these are two separate things and that's it. So in order to do that, take your layout and anytime you want to add a widget to it, the method is called add view. Now it's called add view instead of add widget because all of these things they inherit from the view cat the view class. That's why you see sometimes like plain text view and image view. All of the widgets are also views. So add view, just think of it like add a widget to your layout. So what widget do you want to add? Well, we only have one so far, the red button. Now after this, again, what we did is we created a layout and we created a button and then we took that button and we added it to the view, or excuse me, well, technically we did, but we added it to the layout. Now all we have to say is, okay, now take that layout and actually use it for this activity's main user interface or main display. So anytime you want to do that, you actually call a method called set content view. And all this is saying is, okay, what do you want this activity's main interface to be? Well, obviously we only have one thing we can stick in there, layout. So it's going to make this the main screen. And of course, since we added a button to it, that button is also going to display. So now I actually probably should have started my emulator before, but I'm going to start up my emulator and run this bad boy. All right, so there you have it. I know this is kind of hard to look at right now because the background is kind of light gray and the button is kind of like normal gray. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to um, actually add some properties to this to give it some color and add some text to the button as well. And also what I did is I added some comments in the source code while my emulator was starting. And another thing that I want to mention is if you guys want any of the source code either from this tutorial or in the future tutorials, at the end of every tutorial I copy all of this and post it in my forum. So if you just want to, I don't know, like sit back and watch the tutorial. Some people like coding along. Some people like watching the tutorials and then just using the source code. You can do that as well. But anyways, all of this is going to be in my forum for you guys. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And in the next video, we're going to be making this look a lot better.